So whenever you're shopping for a keyboard, you're usually left with two choices. Either a gaming keyboard or an original like a normal one. But sometimes you're not sure which one works. For example, this keyboard people usually take like your flashy environment, maybe like if you're gaming. But Logitech people usually take because it's more adaptable to their environment. But if you're like me, I'm usually confused on which one is better. Okay, so what we have here is the Logitech NK270. It's a mouse and a keyboard combo, and it's actually wireless, which is really convenient. So, this one, uh, a really pretty unknown brand, is a Chin Chow Gaming Keyboard Combo. Something different from this is that it actually includes a mouse pad, which cannot be seen in the front, but it's, its description said it's going to include a mouse pad. But the bad thing is that this doesn't have the wireless feature. So even though this doesn't have the wireless feature, this is actually $10 more, probably because of the colors and stuff, the RGB lights that it has to power. And this doesn't have any of that. So let's unbox this. Before we actually unbox this, if you guys are liking this video, please make sure to subscribe and stay tuned for the end because it's really surprising what the results are. And also our Instagram page is down below, make sure you follow for behind the scenes. And there's also the Logitech and the Tin Chow Gaming keyboards down below if you want to buy it. Okay, so let's open the Logitech MK270 wireless combo. Okay, now we got the Chin Chow Gaming Keyboard. Let's see what it has in store for us. Okay, let's talk about them right now. So let's look at the first at the Logitech mouse. Right here we got see that it is actually wireless. It requires a battery and conveniently it is already has a battery. That's really convenient. Now we have the keyboard. Every it has everything you need and it also has a number layout right here. It has an on and off switch here if you need it. And something that's really useful is that there's actually functional buttons right here for if you want to go home, send an email, turn off the PC, if you want to go to calculator, sound down, sound up, mute, or play. That's really good. Hopefully this can have like... Oh yeah, and that's really convenient. Yeah, that works. Also here, it requires batteries too, so we open this. And that has actually batteries too. It looks like it's a AAA battery. And the mouse requires also uh, matching a double A battery. Also, since there's only one, I think these two are both in sync with it. So that's really, really convenient. Okay, now we have the Ching Chow, the wired ones. First, we can talk about this. It feels really well and it's well crafted. It's waterproof, it's, ooh, it has stitched really well. And you can see this, it's actually the world map, which is really cool that they did that. And here we got the mouse, and yeah, the mouse pad really helps. Let me let me compare this. To compare this, you can see that sometimes it's, it's like scraping you, so you might want to get a mouse pad with it. So like on the mouse, we can see that there are buttons. Yeah, there's extra buttons on the left and the right, and there are more other buttons here, everywhere. That's why it's called a gaming keyboard because. People usually function these buttons and use them for like shooting, turning left or right, and stuff like that. A really big difference that you can see that is if you look closely. See so yeah, how high the key, how high the uh, keyboards are. He did this to for more a better performance when typing, and I can really see that. So let's get these uh, plugged in and charge it up. 
yeah and look you can already see these colors these amazing dynamic colors you can really see it under it it's really visible and I can see that the colors are perfect this is why this is usually why people tend to get gaming keyboards because of their amazing color and uh, how it has like different colors but the drawback is that it might not fit your setup because you might want a gaming computer to like match that that's why this might be more convenient for you but other than that it's really cool here we got some modes right here so if you press uh, FN if you press this it actually turns it off and on if you press, uh, if you press uh, FN and the color color it actually makes it, it changes the mode so it's coming like colors are coming and coming out press that and it stays the same or stays the same here you can hold the FN button and press page up and down to get brightness see that it's going down going up but now let's get back to okay, this okay so now we have the Logitech from the previous one the the gaming keyboard here we can see that it's a much cleaner setup and that you only need actually one USB re USB receiver for the whole thing it works really well and I feel that this is really when I type it feels way more smoother than this this gaming keyboard we have here also we can see that there are not, not any lights of course it's because it's the normal keyboard that you usually want if you want a more uh, normal layout like if you're working in a business or at home so also here as I said before there are the functional buttons and also a really cool thing is that there is the on and off switch so if you want to turn it off and save the battery you can just turn it off uh, compared to this it's um, actually inbuilt ablated you can see that it has these things to do the same thing so that's what you want to do when you're typing. You want a little more, a little more lift on this part, so you can have a better typing experience. Okay. So at the end of the day, what you usually most expect about a keyboard is the performance. So you can see that there are ablated buttons right here to help you and uh, to speed your performance. Since it is, of course, a gaming keyboard, you want to be fast and smooth. You can see that when I type, it's more, it's more easier to push down than this, which is really convenient. And also. Here we got programmable keys and other keys that you can use to you, to meet your expectations. Okay, and the thing about the Logitech is that it usually it uses membrane buttons, which means that it's not like the mechanical buttons right here where you can uh, do faster because you know in gaming you want to go really fast, maybe shoot the person, you want to go really fast like that. But this is actually membrane buttons, which means that it's a bit more uh, you need to be able to put a bit more energy to it to press to actually function the button. I can see that for comfort, I can feel that you would tend to get the Logitech because of how smooth it feels. Maybe, maybe you would also take the gaming because of uh, the comfort, like when you red type the button, it goes really fast. So at the end of the day, the factor is you. So what do you want? Do you want a gaming computer? Do you, does it fit your setup? Do you want faster response rates, stuff like that, programmable keys, brightness, color? Do you want that? Are you that type of person or are you just a person just sit back, just get to the normal keyboard, just want to fit your setup because it, of course it does get to more setups easier. At the end of the day, you are the deciding factor, so you decide which one you want and which one, which of these uh, features that I mentioned fits right for you. Also, tell, tell us in the comments which one you like better. Do you like this one or the Chin Chow, which is actually a budget. These two are actually budgets, they are under $30. You can get them in the uh, description below. And also, that'll be it for this video. Please make sure to subscribe. And peace. Is that it? Yeah. Uh -huh.